Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the whole wizard feature in SOLIDWORKS right here. So whole wizard is a really awesome tool in SOLIDWORKS that lets you uh, create holes that are, have very specific purposes like clearance holes, you have um, uh, threaded holes, you have screw holes, you know, all different type of holes, countersink holes, um, counter bore holes. So a lot of that we'll get into more with uh, actual designing, some of that will make more sense to you if you're if you get into design because uh, it's rather a more involved concept that um, assumes you know a lot of things. But here we're gonna assume you have some idea of design. We'll save the details of design for another video, but um, we'll go ahead and show you how to use that for the sake of completion. So here you could go ahead and click the whole wizard. There's like other special ones, advanced hole, thread, and then stud. Uh, we're not gonna worry about those. So you can see whole wizard, if you hover over this, you can see you have like a counter bore, you have a counter sink, um, you have your hole. Here you have a straight tap, you have a taper tap, um, legacy hole. This one is a counter bore slot. Uh, here you have a counter sink slot, and then here you have a slot. Okay, so I would say the most common one I use is a hole, and you could choose if you're using inch or metric, and you can specify the type of hole. So you could have a screw clearance, you could have a tap drill. Um, there's a bunch of different types, and depending on if you're using um, you could choose the size of your screw here, and if you decide to go back to metric, you could choose it accordingly, like five millimeters, something like that. So once you choose the hole type you want, you could go to position, sketch the surface, and then you could insert your hole. And when you click OK, it'll create the hole for you. Uh, but the real benefit of this is that when you go to drawings, which we'll talk about later on, it's going to actually auto-populate for you, okay? So here we'll just take a look at some other holes. Here is, uh, this one was called the counter bore, right? You could change the different fitting. Maybe your screw is like really tight. You could change how close, you know, if you look really closely, you can see this hole changing. So if I say like loose, it got a little bit bigger. And then if I do close, it got a little bit smaller. So basically you could change how that fits. And then you can also do a blind hole like we did for extrude cuts. So um, maybe you don't want your hole to go all the way through and you could adjust that, okay? So you could play around with that. And then you could look here, we'll go through a few more. Um, here we have like a slot, for example. So uh, this one is really tiny right now, so you can't see it, uh, but here, if I click eight slot length, you can see that it creates a slot for you. And notice that if you look inside, it'll have the actual drill pattern that it will use based on the tool it's using to uh, drill it, okay? So there's a bunch of other stuff, right? You could play with this. This is called the counter bore slot. You can see how that looks. And then sometimes you may actually want to configure your head. So you could go in here and we'll actually look at this one. It's a little bit easier to see, but you could see like there's different tolerancing and precisions you could have. You could show custom sizing. So uh, this one's like a giant head here. Uh, you could create like a custom depth and so on. Okay, so you could play it. This is like a massively giant hole, so it's not gonna work, but you get the idea. You could customize it and make it work for your application. Okay, so uh, that's really useful. And then um, I think a lot of the details about like which one you use, obviously there's a lot here. It's just gonna come down to, that's more of the design aspect. If you choose the screws that you want, then you'll know which ones to choose. So you wanna see like, okay, is this part something you're gonna tap into? Then you have a threaded hole. Is this part 
going to be a screw that passes through this part, then you will use a clearance hole. Um, so you need to first figure out what your part is actually doing and then design accordingly based on the screws or different hardwares you're choosing. Okay, so that summarizes the whole wizard tool in SOLIDWORKS. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.